What an interesting place to start our adventure today. A Jeep dealership parking lot. But right behind this Jeep dealership parking lot is the pathway up to a pretty cool cliff. My name is Dale, Dale Lawrence. I'm gonna rock you at least once a week. My name is Dale, Dale Lawrence. What is this party? But I have no idea what the actual pathway is to this place, so we're kind of out in the woods, just lost. But I think it's up that way, if I had to guess. Little kids made themselves a little BMX track. They probably jump right off that rock, come down that ramp, go off this one and bank around that corner where Tresh is. Yo, are we coming up on the cliff right now? I honestly don't know this area at all, so this might be the cliff. I don't think that it is though. I don't see any anything like we're supposed to be seeing at this place. Maybe it's around over here. Uh, honest to God, I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. So this could be the cliff. But I, I think this is a failure. This isn't the place we're gonna go look for, so. Let's go truck through the woods and see if we can actually find what we came here to see. Yo, I think we just found it. I think we just came up on Skull Cliff. There it is. Right now we are just outside of Boston in Saugus, Massachusetts, and behind me is Skull Cliff. This place actually goes by a few different names. It's known as Skull Cliff, Skull Rock, or the Wall of Bones. This area is actually an old 30 foot tall mining quarry that was painted by the artist Ichabod in 2001. No one knows how long it took him to paint this or how he even did it. The only reason people know it was painted in 2001 is because his signature was actually here and he wrote 2001 next to it. But unfortunately, his signature has been painted over since then. Originally, along with this piece, he wrote a message. His message was, take the knowledge that you will someday be these bones and enjoy now all that is precious. That really connects with these videos because these videos are all about enjoying the moment and going out and doing adventures while we still can, while we're young. So that's why I kind of like this place. I'm not all about graffiti. I really don't like graffiti in places and I don't like seeing graffiti, but you gotta admit, this thing is cool and the message that goes along with it is really cool as well. So let's go over there and check out Skull Cliff. Skull Cliff, 30 foot tall mining quarry. That thing's massive. So this is the view you get of the old mining quarry when you're up here at Skull Cliff. Honestly, I have no idea how this dude painted this thing. The detail he put into it is just absolutely amazing. Looks like a little bit is washing away over here. Who knows how much longer this will stay out here before it all washes away. This is about as close as you can get to the cliff. There's a bunch of like rocks and all kinds of stuff. You really can't get up close and personal with this thing, but you can get pretty close. There's Tresh behind me, taking some pictures. Like that's just one of the many skulls out here. Skull Cliff. So many. Honestly, it just blows me away. I, I honestly don't know how he did it. I'm just so amazed by this. I know I keep saying it, but this is probably one of the coolest places we've been. And all it is is just a giant rock. But the artwork is just so amazing. And like I said, I really don't like graffiti and I don't encourage it at all. But this place is so cool because this is the type of graffiti that is actually artwork. Stuff like this, that's not artwork. That's just spray painting stupid words and ruining an amazing place like this. Is the view you get when you're on top of Skull Rock. Right over there is the city of Boston. You can see the whole skyline. This is the very top of Skull Cliff. I don't want to go out there, because it's a long way down to the bottom. And there's a lot of sharp rocks. Maybe. Yeah. He probably suspended himself onto oh. that, like a um, like a window washer. Yeah, like he hooked like himself, himself onto that down. and then like sus like repelled down the cliff to paint it all. Maybe. 
You're probably right. Why else would that be there? It's kind of a weird thing to have on top of a cliff. Thank you so much for joining us as we checked out Skull Cliff. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe down below for more adventures. So this is probably the weirdest thing. We came out to check out Skull Rock. Fuck, I just thought it was so bad. Look at this weird little area. It's like a strange little picnic area. It's got some tables and chairs, a little fire pit. It's got a grill back there. What even is this place? There's no way I'd jump my bike over that jump. That's pretty damn scary. Here's behind the scenes of a trash in her natural habitat. You guys gotta go follow this girl on Instagram. I'll link it down below. She's taking some artsy pictures. She does some behind the scenes stuff. So if you wanna see more of these videos, go check out the photos on her Instagram. Is Skull Cliff. How bad's my face look? Yeah. This place actually goes. This is probably one of the coolest places we've ever been. I just want to stare and look at it all day. But this, this is actual artwork that someone put time and effort into so that people could enjoy it. Don't quote me on this, but I believe his original signature was right here and the message was over here. I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me on it. It's amazing. But this, really is an amazing view. In these videos, we go where no man has gone before.